All right, let's talk a little bit about exterior angles and the exterior angle theorems. Um, basically, the exterior angle theorems just deal with the different ways that exterior angles affect different uh, uh, polygons, in this, in this case, particularly with triangles. An exterior angle is the angle that's formed between the interior angle on a triangle and a straight line that would be drawn from that side of the triangle. So if we're looking over here at set 2, let me get an orange so it's easier to see over that black. Look over here at set 2, we can see that this side of the triangle, the left-hand side of the triangle, if we were to continue that side on up, then the angle that's formed between that side and the outside of the next side over is the exterior angle right here. The interior angle is the one inside of the triangle, of course, and that's the one we usually deal with. But the exterior angle is the one that forms the rest of 180 degrees with that triangle. Now, there's really two sets of exterior angles on a triangle. There's one set where you kind of go around clockwise and one set where you kind of go around counterclockwise. So if we start by, with this left-hand side triangle over here, if we start by going around counterclockwise and just drawing each line out past the intersection, on past the intersection, on past the intersection here, then we can form those exterior angles pretty easily just by drawing the angle in around between the two sides. Okay, so now let's take a look at what the theorems involving those are. The first theorem, the exterior angle sum theorem, tells us that anytime you have the exterior angles of a triangle or of any uh, polygon really, you have 360 degrees. So either one of those sets, whether we're talking about set one, which we'll call the one here in blue, if we were to take the angle measures of all three of these exterior angles from here to here, which is about 90, and then from here to here, which is, oh, I don't know, about 135 maybe, and then from here to here, which is, oh, let's see, 125, uh, 235 again maybe, something like that. Yeah, about 135. If we were to add all three of these angle measures up, they would always equal 360 degrees. It's kind of interesting. Of course, 360 is twice 180, right? So we know that the interior angles of a triangle, drawn here in red, they always total 180. And then we know that the exterior angles, either set, whether it's the one that we just did there in blue or the one that's sort of numbered here in red, either set equals twice that, or 360 degrees. So it's pretty easy to remember if you think of it that way. Triangles are either 360 or 180. Now the other exterior angle theorem, which is just the exterior angle theorem rather than the exterior angle sum theorem, tells us that any time you have an exterior angle, the exterior angle here, say from A to C to D, this angle here is always equal to the other two interior angles added together. So angle here, we'll call this angle H. Yeah, Angle H is equal to angle A plus angle B. So angle A in here plus angle B in here. And that's the, that's the case with any triangle. So if we were then to, say, draw this off this way here and continue this side on up this way, then this measure right here, we'll call this angle J, angle J would be angle C plus angle B. So the exterior angle on any side of there, on any angle of the triangle is always equal to the other two angles combined. They're, these are called remote angles, by the way. If we're talking about this exterior angle up here, then the remote angles are the two here and here that aren't a part of that end or that vertex of the triangle. All right, let's take a look at the example questions. Mm -hmm. 